let's see the first one here will be study the um, graph below and answer the questions that follow so let's see what's going on initially we have demand and supply there and this is our point of equilibrium and then we see a shift of the demand curve to the right and uh, this is demand and supply of foreign exchange or foreign currency uh, okay we have 100 units 130 there is an increase in demand and then we see this movement here from 10 to 12 so this is the rand against the dollar so what has gone the demand for for foreign currency has increased and this is the supply of foreign currency in this case stayed the same so what has happened here is the dollar has appreciated and the rand has depreciated due to an increase in demand for foreign currency and this could be as a result of you know so many things but one of them could be that we are importing more than we're exporting right identify the original equilibrium point that would be point e i've said it already what happens to the value of the rand when the demand curve shifts from dd to d1 d1 the rand will depreciate the rand will decline or the value of the rand will decrease and uh, some of you would find it uh, you know confusing like why do we say the rand is depreciating if it goes from 10 to 12 uh, it's depreciating because you need more rands to buy the same dollar you see you used um, so okay fine look let's say this happened from throughout the day okay that will be a big drop uh, it's normally abnormal to do this and if it does, well, we can say that the rent is so unstable. This could take time to happen. But anyway, let's say it changes from 1 to 10. Uh, let's say, okay, fine. Let me try to create a scenario here. Your salary is 10,000. 10,000 rands. So in other words, if it's 1 as to 10, it means that your salary in rent in us dollars okay will be oh sorry dollars will be one thousand dollars now if your salary remains the same and the the exchange rate changes from one s to twelve uh you will see what's going to happen there is um that you're still earning ten thousand but now the, the 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 exchange rate has changed so now it will be more like your salary is 833 rands, uh, 33 dollars. So if your salary drops from, but look, your, your salary is still the same, 10,000. So in January, you earn 10,000. That is equivalent to 1,000 US dollars. In February, the exchange rate changes to 12. That means your salary is now $833. So why has it gone down? Because the value of the rand has decreased. All right, I think you understand now. Briefly explain the floating exchange rate system. Okay, this one here is a floating exchange rate system because it uses forces of demand and supply. Because if it's not a floating exchange rate system, it's um, a managed exchange rate system where the central bank is you know or if it's not managed it's fixed maybe it's fixed to a certain commodity usually to gold or it's fixed to another currency okay so this one here is a floating exchange rate system and that is what south africa is using or claims to be using what effect does globalization have on international trade okay uh, this globalization is when you know countries are trading you know so it will stimulate international trade countries will trade with one another be due to globalization and that is what we're doing currently it allows a greater variety of goods and services between countries because you will have the luxury to buy what you like or what you can afford uh, so it is possible with globalization how will demand influence foreign exchange um 
import uh okay the demand will influence the foreign exchange by importing goods payment for services from foreign countries tourists spending money overseas buying shares in other countries and many more things that you can think of um if it's not shares it could be property anything just when money is going outside the country don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel we are also giving away the distinction bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books at the moment we have the following textbooks economics grade 10 11 and 12 plus business studies grades 11 and 12. we are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog remember our books come in two versions complete and no answers versions complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not thank you so much for your support see you in the next video god bless